Right, we had our messy activity with the toothbrush spraying paint all over the leaves. I'm going to show you the same exercise but in a slightly less messy way. So again, I'm going to lay leaves in a nice pattern over the paper. And I'm picking leaves that have different and interesting shapes, trying to get them all different from each other and trying to lay them out in a nice design. So just getting a range of different shapes, maybe have one or two touching each other. Um, that's enough to show you. Now what I've got here is a piece that I've torn off a cleaning sponge and it's got some lovely bumpy textures. So now this time, instead of spraying, I'm going to dab the paint on from the sponge. Now it will stick slightly to the leaves, so you need to hold them down. But you see, it's not making a flat painting um, pattern. It's got a sort of holy lacy pattern, which is really nice. Holding each leaf down. And again, it's going to get a little bit messy on your fingers, but not as bad as all that spraying. So I'm just dipping the sponge into the paint and dabbing it on the paper. Just trying to be careful that my leaves don't move around. Okay. So I'm just going over the edge of each leaf. Just try and get it lined up again. And I'm going quite quickly because I want to get to the next colour before this one's completely dried out. Ah, ah. <laughs> that paint acted like glue and the leaf stuck to it. Let's see if I can put it back carefully where it was. There we go. Now I'm moving on to the next colour which is the red. And you see this is still a little bit wet, so let's see if the colours mix and blend. I'm dabbing it on very lightly because I'm wanting to get this sort of lacy pattern if I can. You have to be careful that they don't move, otherwise we'll spoil the effect. I don't know if you could maybe stick the leaves down with a little bit of blue tack. Now the fern, let's see what we can do there. So when we do the one with the toothbrush, we don't have as much of a problem with the leaves getting stuck to the paint. But we also have more mess. Mess isn't always bad. Okay, and now I'm going to move on to the blue. So I won't put it everywhere. I haven't really done anything around this leaf, so let's use the blue for that. Now there is a little bit of red still on the sponge, so those colours are going to get mixed together. All right, let's hold this one down, get a bit of blue. And anyway, you can see that it's not being covered by another colour, we'll come in with the blue like on this fern here. Just dab, dab, dabbing. Okay. Now I really should wait until everything is dry, but I quickly want to show you what's happened. So let's take these leaves off. One. So we get a much stronger effect than with the 
spraying from a toothbrush because the paint is thicker this way. But see, that gives rather a nice effect. Now with either that one or this one, depending on how thick your paper is, and you might want to do it on brown paper, once it's dry, it's something that would be quite nice to use as gift wrap or even to cut out little pieces from it and stick them onto card to make gift cards. So those are some ideas you can use for your leaves.